Welcome to the history Welcome to the culture Welcome to the community that dreams and achieves Living in change For better tomorrow Welcome to the Eunice Mala Show Welcome to the Eunice Mollat Show. I'm your host, Eunice Mollat. In February of 2015, I traveled to my home country of South Sudan, and it was a wonderful trip. I was able to capture many images. And one of the initiatives that was held within the country while I was there was the initiative to return over 400,000 South Sudanese children back to school. It was an initiative established by UNICEF in collaboration with the Ministry of Education of South Sudan. On tonight's program, we're going to feature the event. We're here at the Dr. John Garang Museum in Juba, South Sudan, where the Ministry of, Edu of Education, alongside UNICEF, are launching Back to Learning for South Sudanese Kids. After the 2013 conflict, over a million South Sudanese children were left stranded without education. Now, with the collaboration between UNICEF and the Ministry of Education of South Sudan, the objective is to return over 400,000 South Sudanese kids back to school. On tonight's event, we're going to go ahead and highlight this important objective. The President of the Republic has arrived.
ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce our president to come and talk to uh, the children and the people of South Sudan on the importance of going back to the land. To 
my children and the children. You are our future. Help our brother. We celebrate the celebration of the world the world to give you a brighter future. We fought for the seven years. For the whole that one day, you will be the prosperous of Sudan. Now that we are in the battle, you have to focus on your education. It is a huge plan and build this plan of great abundance. We love the eternals to learn. Be courageous and always are welcome. Remember answers for creative professions. Develop the critical life, a critical year, and a critical way of thinking. Always challenge yourself to learn and know more. Education is key to every success. Today, we start a long journey to turn this around. The Back to Learning initiative will target all 10 states and provide tailored education support to children in both conflict and non-conflict affected areas. We want to ensure that all children across South Sudan are able to access education opportunities, whether through the formal school or non-formal system. The important part point is that our school children throughout the country will be supported to go to school and back to learning. All the supplies and learning materials are being put in place as a speak. We now need your support. Parents, bring your children to school and support this initiative. All of us, let's make sure this country's girls are not forgotten. They need our special attention also when it comes to school. Teachers, please perform to the best of your ability. And to the government, please make sure teachers are paid throughout the whole country, including in the conflict states. 400,000 children, as we speak, have no access to school because they are displaced. This initiative, therefore, is a national call for those of us who listened when the national anthem was being sent by the children I'm sure all of us became emotional because the future of this country is for children. And the national answer will be sent continuously by the children for many, many, many years to come. And that's the future of the country. I therefore, with my colleagues in the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology, we are humbled that you came to launch this campaign of going back to learning. It is not only for children, but also for the adults. And the title battalion Division 9, the group is here are our students. They came here in their capacity as students of alternative. I'm therefore humbled that you are here. I'm taking this opportunity to call upon the deputy governor of Central Equatorial 
to come and give his remark in this special occasion. Mr. Deputy Governor Lua Ayala. Go to school and never be segregated in any way. Number two, that all teachers, PTAs, SMCs, chiefs, and elders have more responsibility to ensure that all children in their areas of operation must go to school. That every child that has dropped out of school must be encouraged and supported to get back to school. Even those who have lost their parents must be supported and required to go back to school because the orphans of today will be the leaders of tomorrow. Support all of them to go back to school. Three, that we are aware of the challenges facing our education system, that we do not have enough learning space. And I want to make this one clear, Your Excellency, sir, that in Juba here, when you go to any of the primary school, you realize that the children are packed in one class. A class of should be taking about 40, maximum 50 children, now accommodates 150, 160 children, making learning unpleasant and difficult. <laughs> Your Excellency, in light of this, I would like to appeal to you and all our development partners to support us in providing more learning space, particularly in Juba and Yei, where a number of our citizens from other states have been displaced and they are taking their children to schools here. Help us to build more classrooms so that we can educate our children in respective of where they come from, because that is what we are in Central Kutara State. We embrace and encompass all children irrespective of where they come from. But they need classrooms so that they can be able to go to school and learn in dignity. Four, that together with the government of the Republic of South Sudan, considering the commitment of His Excellency, President Salva Kemal Niku Education, we are sure that we will succeed in sending all our children back to school, back to learning. And learning has no limit. We are very happy we have the alternative learning system or program where our soldiers are learning. All of us, even at older age, must take learning seriously and we have to go back to learning. I'm telling you, even as I am in my late 50s, I am learning. I'm enrolled for learning, and you must all enroll for learning. Age must not be a burden. I will tell you that my old mother at the age of 75 went to learn English somewhere in Nairobi, and she topped her class. She was number one in her class. You can also meet it. Finally, Your Excellency, allow me to take this opportunity to most sincerely thank our Ministry of Education and the nation at large for making sure that our children go back to learning. We thank our development partners and we want to mention clearly UNICEF for providing leadership in returning our children to schools. UNICEF, thank you for preparation.
I hope that tonight's program was informative and educational. I hope that you were able to gain a wealth of information about the country of South Sudan and its people, how resilient, how beautiful, and how strong they are. Join us next week for another edition of the Eunice Malat Show. If you believe you can achieve,